So you got to go on a date with the girl who won the plate spinning in the morning. You had Shannon Matthews in a shed. We're getting four hundred pounds off next year's holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Just let him finger you. My granddad used to bath. <laughs> he used to like say, see how long you can hold your breath underwater, and he'd have like world records for me throughout the year. There was a couple on our seat. There was one in the one who uh, lived facing us in the pub, and he was like, you know, he was always you know like a cartoon nonce. For a bit until he got like found and then chased out the town. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, so like he was an all right nonce, but then when he yeah, actually touched he, kids, he had to go. Me, just so, just like um, he ran the bouncy castle in the beer garden. Oh, and it was just like a bit of a fucking, fucking nonce. A bit of a wrong at him. But then when he had a kid hanging off his dick, he was like, <laughs> Oh no, they found no. like his uh, hard drive. He had like 100,000 indecent images of children. But like, <laughs> I, used to, I used to be dead competitive with stuff like that. I'm a competitive person, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so. I am a bit. Yeah. I'm just terrible at stuff. And it really <laughs> eats away at me because I'm bad at everything and I hate losing. Yeah. But I've lost so often. You've had some experiences, <laughs> haven't you, Jamie? You've had some experiences, let me tell you that. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. It's, you know, the sexual chemistry is off the chain. <laughs> I can't be honest. <laughs> Thanks for listening to Hot Water's Green Room podcast with myself and Tony Carroll. If you want to support the podcast, go to uh, youtube.com, search Hot Water Comedy, or follow the link in the description, or you can click join on any of the videos on there. Sign up for the podcast membership. So for just £3 a month, you get access to our podcast, including a bonus episode every week, and early access to the public episode, and you'll also get uh, access to all the podcasts on the Hot Water Podcast Community Channel. It's going to be the place to come for podcasts in the Northwest. So sign up now and be there before it was even popular. Go ahead, £3 a month now. Welcome to Hot Water Screen Room Podcast with me, Tony Carroll, and uh, me, Jamie Hutchinson. Yes, this podcast is going to be solely all about um, about shit, about anything. shit, anything about, and everything. Yes, that's it. You're it's watching the genesis of a great friendship as well because yeah. we we don't know each other that well. Oh, we don't. No. So the pilot could be yeah. introducing ourselves. Well, getting to know each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, the yeah. podcast. So pilot one is getting to know each other, and you can watch us as we either. You know, grow into a beautiful friendship, maybe lovers, <laughs> or arch enemies. You never know. Never know you never know, but it'd be a good journey. Do you actually, know, um, yeah. actually, I don't know if you know this, but I'm um, one of my nicknames is being in because of you. What? Did you know that? No. No? Right. <laughs> you could tell us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, years ago... So I'll tell you the nickname first. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, 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 well, actually, no, because that's... So years ago, I went out uh, with Callum, yeah. uh, Callum Oakley, comedian, Liverpool. Good lad. Night. <laughs> <How is that? laughs> um, went out with him, night out in Liverpool, and we went out after for drinks and that, me, Callum, Smith, all the, you know, the Liverpool acts, yeah. basically. And you sorted us out, being Mr. Liverpool yeah. nightlife, yeah. yeah? I left me coat there. Do you remember this? You don't remember me leaving the coat in your club? No. Oh, it's honestly. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. So I left my coat in your club. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I went, oh, I left me, left me coat in there. So Smith called you. He went, oh, Vuchy's left his coat in the club. You went, who the fuck's Vuchy? You know, the, the Mank comedian. Yeah. I don't know a Mank. And you know, the like pretty short ginger lad. He went, I don't know, short. He looks like a fucking trifle. I went, oh, him. <laughs> <laughs> so now, my nickname with Callum and all them lot is trifle. Or like blamange. Looks like a trifle. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Callum's come down. Because you put your stamp of authority on it. Oh, right. <laughs> you affirmed it. Yeah. Did, you, did you come stuck. with your coat? I got my coat, yeah. Oh, Boxed cool. me right off, right through the queue, coming out. That's all right. Did we, did we, ever, we never uh, come across each other on, on the circuit, did we? No, I think I started... Just after you, so I'm about seven years in. Yeah, so well, yeah, I must have been on one of my ten breaks by then. Like. <laughs> yeah. Came back recently though. Yeah, come back, yeah. Come back, I'm looking forward to um, having another go at it, to be honest. 
It's one of them, and it's because I've done stand of that like over ten years, but obviously not all the time. So it's like at a certain point, I hit thirty like just before Christmas, October, and then I was thinking like like what's missing? You know what I mean? Yeah, when yeah. you're at that thirty, it's like a scary like it's an existential crisis. Isn't yeah, it? it's like a midlife crisis, but not yeah, midlife. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I was like, what's missing? I was thinking, what do they used to do that I liked? And then I was like, stand up. So I thought, you know what, thirty this year, I have one last go. And if it doesn't, if it doesn't happen, I'll be sound. So you're going back proper, do you think? Yeah, I am now. Yeah, I've got to give it another go. I've got, otherwise, I don't want to be one of them who's going to have a get. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I at thirty, and this is my first Christmas as a thirty-year-old. Oh, so are you only just turned thirty? Yeah, no, I turned thirty in Feb twenty-one. Oh yeah, yeah. So, we see so it's me, but there's a bit of a pressure on me to like, you know, carry the bloodline on, but. I turned up at my grand's house and my dad got up out of his box room and I was out of my box room from my, from my ma's house. Yeah. I just realised we were just two men waiting for our ma's to die <laughs> so we could have the Tell good room. <laughs> and he was like, when are we having... And we had the same shirt on. And it was just like, like this this clicking moment. Like, this, in, this, is, this is my future if I don't fix up do you know what I mean yeah, yeah, yeah. so um, I'm putting more effort into stand up now to just I need I need to get out of like the monotony day job and stuff like yeah. that so I need this to take off did you, did you do much you do much gigs like yeah yeah yeah. I, I was I was in a, um, I was in a rut with it mate last year this is getting serious <laughs> this is meant to be funny isn't it <laughs> Hopefully the funny stuff comes soon. <laughs> nah, just I'm I'm, was, <laughs> I'm just having problems. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was in a hot w- waters <laughs> counseling <laughs> sessions featuring Jamie Hutchinson and Tony Carroll. Comedians, <laughs> if you've got any problems, like us, come on and talk to us. It's all gonna be fine. I just don't know who I am anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I was because you know, like the pandemic and everything. Yeah, and obviously our gigs were cancelled, and I seen everyone just like, oh, I can't wait to be back in that. Can't yeah. wait. I'm like, I fucking. I'm not looking for, you know, just going to the fucking Midlands for 50 quid and yeah. stuff like that. It's like, fucking this graft again. Um, and even the gigs coming back, you know, it's all socially distanced. Like, oh, yeah. this is fucking bollocks, this. And then um, it just took, like, two good gigs and I was just like... And then you're back in the game. Then, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah and I thought that, that, was, that was like that, that was like that me with me, like, on the last last one I'd done a few weeks ago, so when I've done the hot water again on that midweek, I just, it was like roll of the dice. It was like, if I, if I, because when, when I've had time off before I come back, I've done all right, but then, but I know that I have a better head and I've done all, all material. I've, like, don't get me wrong, when I, when, when I wrote that fucking goal 15 years yeah. ago, you know, I've got me fucking worth out of it, like, <laughs> but now everyone knows the jokes. I was like, I'm, I can't do it anymore. So I, I wrote a new set and I thought, let's see how it goes. And to be fair, it fucking went well, so I just thought. It's good. Check the clips out yeah, on make sure uh, you do, yeah. YouTube channel. <laughs> fucking good. I watched them this week. Yeah. I, I'd... Um, Earlier before, it, well, not before it started, but when I was starting, yeah, yeah. it was kind of talked about yeah. during just the terms of the Liverpool scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when I first dipped in my toes with hot water, uh, yeah. during Holiday Inn. Yeah, 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 yeah. That'd be the first gigs of them there. Um, but obviously, it was like the old G envy days yeah, and yeah, crowd totally, yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, but it was, as I say, it was. It's, the other day, it was it, it was one of them. It was it was the roll of the dice. Like it was if it was going to be shit, then I, I wouldn't have been too bad. I wouldn't have been too bothered. But now that I've got the bug back, it's just that yeah. bug in it. You just oh like yeah, a fucking let's go. It's let's just have a go. It's horrible, isn't it? Chasing that fucking yeah. refreshing fucking. It's like a fucking nice. drug, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's like it's, it is. Like when you when you do well on stage, it's just like when's the next one? You know what I mean? Yeah, because I was saying to someone, Joe, um, I had a viral clip in the winter yeah. and stuff like that, which is obviously mint and everything. Don't get me wrong, but. I was asking, oh, what did it feel like to get all them views and stuff like that? It's absolutely like that compared to an a pause break. It yeah, just is, though. It is, yeah, yeah. It's it just is, roofing right. a gig yeah. Is, yeah. is... So special, is, isn't it? Yeah, it's special, unreal. It? It's, um, yeah, it's hard to replicate that and it's yeah. chasing that. So just before we started, we were talking about, you know, um, you, you went to Pontons when you were a kid. You know, elaborate <laughs> yeah. on this. I was... <laughs> Smooth. Nothing happened, by the way. Like he didn't have an experience with an older gentleman or anything. Or no. I um, <laughs> I fucking right. So we were talking before just about shit gigs yeah, and things yeah. like that. So I was saying this story. Uh, me, Callum Oakley, and a lad called Ant Campbell used to do stand up. We're all in a group chat together, and um, there was an open mic night in Sheffield. So miles away, I'm from Manchester. Them two Liverpool, and we all went down together. And they're the fucking 
that's when you know them fun gigs where you're just like you're all fucking dying on your yeah, ass in front yeah. of each other. It's a fucking <laughs> buzz, isn't it? So this comedy night was a mixed bill in terms of um it's like poetry, music, you know, comedy and stuff like that. And it's in like a pretty arty venue in Sheffield. So C- Callum got the gig and he was like, hey, he said, um, got room for a couple of mates and stuff like that. So I went, oh, it's sound. So I private messaged Callum, I'm going to do it as um, a poet. I'm going to do it as a poet, right? And do a poem about Aunt Campbell's life <laughs> as Aunt Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> so I went on as Campbell. <laughs> I did a poem just about basically him. ripping him, yeah. <laughs> having this breakdown. <laughs> Taking the piss out of his life and it fucking roofed it. I was just doing like your know, metaphors that don't make sense. Yeah. I was like, I am the light, you are the moth. <laughs> just shit that don't make sense, just daft stuff. And they're lapping it up, this, you know, fucking student yeah. hipster crowd. So them shoots have used that in the captions. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. He inspired on a Wednesday yeah. night by the this ginger man. It on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> With Tommy Shelby there. Um, I, uh, yeah, so I smashed it as a poet. I was like, I fucking nailed this. And um, I went to the guy who runs it. I went, I'm a bit of a stand-up as well, you know. So, oh, yeah, jump on in the comedy section. So I had this new bit of material. Never done before on stage. What that? I've got the room. You know, the room fucking love me. Um, a, couple, a few days earlier, me and Callum had a writing session. Yeah. Which sounds pretentious when yeah. people, when comics say, "Oh, we're doing some writing together." It's just you know having a few drinks and going through ideas. Yeah. So I told this story. So this what this is what genuinely happened, right? I was at Pontins, yeah, yeah, ninety nine. Yeah. How old was you? Eight, 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 eight nine, yeah. yeah. Um, and they had this competition at night. Do you know when they have like kids entertainment and stuff? Yeah, yeah. They had junior blind date. So I put my hand up because the prize was a date with an actual girl and that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm fucking game for that. An actual girl. <laughs> yeah, an actual one. <laughs> do you still do these competitions? Because <laughs> I want to go and say, you know what I mean? <laughs> so you got to go on a date with the girl who won the plate spinning in the morning. <laughs> so she won a plate spinning competition. This is so this is so wrong, isn't it? Yeah. What oh, you didn't want to go on a date? I know, that's what I mean. She get forced to go on a date with yeah. you. So, so it's, it's like, she was 13 as well, I was eight. Never would have worked. <laughs> Never would have worked. <laughs> so, we're on here like junior blind date. Isabel, you're fucking going. <laughs> we're getting 400 pound off next year's holiday. <laughs> Just let them finger you. <laughs> the, day was a, the day was a picnic. You went... The winner, the three lucky gentlemen are all competing for a date with a lucky blind date. By twigged. Because I was in the plate spinning competition. You was in that I could I could have been a I could have been a picker. So you could have been the date? I could have been the who chose. I could have had oh, all the yeah. power. But I was shit at spinning plates. You know. <laughs> so you lost it. <laughs> I was out in the quarters. <laughs> I was out in the quarters, right. So we, we, we lined up me. Lad, uh, I'm contestant number two. Yeah. It's contestant number one. Good looking kid. Do you know what I mean? I'm glad it's blind date. Yeah. So I can use my wit. <laughs> <laughs> Third lad, bit of a fucking, you know, Forrest Gump. <laughs> so, so she goes like, and I got done dirty here because on real blind date, yeah. the first round, they go to contestant one first. The second one, they go to contestant two first. And then the third, third. one has time to answer, doesn't he? And he's <laughs> yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we all yeah. have a go at getting the best answer in. But they just went to the first guy. So the first question, right? So she went, oh, the, the prize is a date with a picnic with me. What would you bring to the date? And this smooth fucker, number one, he just goes, right, I'd, he was black. yeah. It yeah. doesn't have any bearing on the story, but I just yeah, want to get yeah. people's image. Oh, you know, yeah, if you've got a picture yeah, yeah, of the story, yeah. haven't you? Yeah. Young, cool, black kid. Yeah. Right? And he just went, oh, you know, uh, <laughs> sugar's sweet, but uh, nothing's as sweet as you. And he was like, you're oh, fucking smooth. Was he a clown watching us as well? Yeah, yeah. So they all like parents, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, because he's only like nine. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. like, oh. And he's like, contestant number two, what do you bring to the day? Oh, I'd bring crisp. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking 
<laughs> oh my god! So I'd been crispy. <laughs> And nothing. Oh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> Chris. <laughs> oh my God! The second, the second round. She was like, um, "What did she say now?" Oh, she said, um, uh, what, "What would you be in? What, what would you, you know, something that you're into, like a hobby or an interest or something?" Because what he said, I can't remember the question exactly, but he said, um, "Well, I'm a, a, a blue belt in karate." <laughs> I could chop a plank of wood in half, but I'd never break your heart. And I'm like, oh. And I went, oh, <laughs> you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty into, you know, crisp. <laughs> yeah, different flavours, really. <laughs> sometimes I get cheese on your hands, and you mix them in a bowl, and, you know, you don't know what you're going to get. <laughs> but some salt and vinegar crisp like, quite lighter than cheese and onion crisp. <laughs> so you'll get to know which ones are what. <laughs> They're looking at me like, what the fuck is this going on? And was then, your mum and dad there as well? Yeah. But they were left out of you there, wasn't he? Listen to what your mum did, mate. So then I'm sweating now. Because <laughs> even at eight, you yeah. know when you die on your ass. <laughs> 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 I had that death in between away. So I'm dying on my ass. And then, honestly, I'm, as far as on stage, every second word out my mouth was crisp. I was just like, I couldn't get it. I was like, uh, you know, crisp and... Um, you have from 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 Manchester, and you know we have. Uh, my mum gets multi packs, and um, I take them. In. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I'm melting on stage. I'm absolutely fucking. I'm on the lights. I'm got this fucking blue coat, like 19 years old, fucking second year fucking performance art. She was like, "What the fuck do we do with this cunt going on?" About? I look like I'm having a fucking nervous yeah. breakdown now. So I lost. <laughs> Did you? Oh, fucking hell, I've lost. So the minute he just goes, all right, uh, I'll give it up, Jamie, Jamie, you finished third or whatever. And um, you had to uh, go to, do you know where the divider is? Yeah, you, you, go, to the, you go to the divider and see her. She's like, ah, you know, she's fucking an absolute centre and a half. She, she's wasn't fuck, she fit, though? Oh, she's massive. She's tall. Yeah, dodge the bullet here, didn't Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> done some swear that. Yeah, the big fucking Chris monster like that. It's one all a Chris to myself, he's not getting them. <laughs> My mum's like, this is gonna cost a fortune in monster monster. <laughs> <laughs> so he goes, goes, I'll give her a kiss. I couldn't reach a cheek. So they brought a kiss? Yeah, they brought a chair on stage. Fuck they, off, brought that, you know. they brought a chair on stage. So I stood up because I was a tiny kid. They brought a chair on stage, so I had to stand up and, and give, kiss her on the cheek. Give her a kiss on the cheek, but saw on the chair, went blood red, you know, like kissing a girl and stuff. Yeah. Ran off stage and hid under my mum's hid under my mum's table where she was sat. And the fucking blue coat, he just goes, Oh, where's he gone? Where's he gone? Because then I've got the crowd sympathy a bit then. Yeah, yeah. He's just where's he gone? Where's he gone? And my mum stood up pissing herself. So like, He's under there. Sold me right down the river. So he goes like that radio mic. What, what, what are you doing, mate? I'm <laughs> under the table. Went, Just eating some crisp. <laughs> <laughs> I was a fan of a callback back then. I'm not like, that's a fucking funny story. <laughs> so I, I, I tell this story on stage. Yeah. And I swear to God, mate. You've only done it, I've only told it on stage once. Once. And <sighs> evaporated for life. Because, and Callum convinced me, you've got to do it on stage, yeah. do it on stage. And... I'm saying crisp, and it's, and the first punch, and I went too hard on the first punchline. Do you know what I mean? I've overperformed yeah. it. So I, I say the guy went, oh, nothing too sweet. And I, and I said crisp. And I've gone too big. And Joe, when everything stops, yeah. do I, like, the girl stops serving, you can hear like, the electricity in the light bulb <laughs> going. And I've gone, I've gone too big here yeah, to yeah. retract. Yeah. So I carry on doing it big. I s and second question. So I said, crisp. And then I'm going, I've got a topic for them. I'm like, right. I'm, I'm 0 for 2. Yeah. And the third one, this is home run. Oh, I'm striking out, that's it. And I said, crisp. And it was so silent, right? I didn't even, all I did, I don't know if you've ever done this, 
didn't say a word. I said Chris was my last word. Absolute death. I just got the mic stand, put the mic back in, and walked right out the venue. Did you? Yeah. Do you know what, though? That's what the thing about that story then. I was just thinking, like, they need to really check these comedy camps, don't they? <laughs> like, what the fuck's going on? It's unbelievable. How's that past for quality control? <laughs> it was only 20 years ago, or whatever. That's fucked up, that man, isn't it? <laughs> it's cr- but even the age difference, like 13 and 8, it's yeah. not even cute, is it? No. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? But like the other mums and dads there, and they're like that, yay! Yeah, yeah. And she's getting, it. she's getting prostituted out there, isn't she? <laughs> Replacement in skills. Oh, fuck you, mate. That's bad, that. Uh, did, you, yeah. did you go holidays to England? Yeah, I went to Wales, me. I was always in Wales every weekend. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Right. I was pressed. Think, yeah, something. I was in Abergelly. Me, I had a caravan there, so I was there every weekend. It was, it was quite good to be yeah, honest. Yeah, yeah. I haven't got stories like that. Like, <laughs> but, but yeah, I've got some fucking some weird ones. There was this fella. There was this fella there. Yeah. And that was, it's, have you noticed, like, when we were kids, there's all nonsense knocking about? Like, this fella, this fella, when I was in his caravan site, we were all similar ages, like, from, like, say, from 8 to, like, 15, and it was a big group of us all from different parts of the UK, and you know? that. There was this fella from Birkenhead <laughs> called Uno Paul, right? <laughs> and Uno Paul was at least 22, yeah. And the oldest in our group was, like, 13, 14. And Uno, Uno Paul, Paul. Used to, the reason why his name's Uno Paul... Oh. Because you used to have Uno cards and just. <laughs> Did you think he was Spanish or something, Jamie? I just thought there was just one Paul. <laughs> <laughs> no, he. I just thought he was known to hang around with himself. Oh, no, no, no. He used to go around with the Uno cards and say, oh, Do you want a game at Uno? <laughs> but he was like 21, 22, and I'm thinking, oh, Shouldn't no. you be out like partying there? Not going around, kids saying, Do you want a game at Uno? <laughs> he, 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 he died, he died, he died, yeah. He had something wrong with him, like, <laughs> yeah, he had like this, he was like five in the head or something, you know what I mean, one of them people, like, uh, but yeah, he died, he died at a young age, yeah. Fucking hell, who know, Paul? Yeah, I, went to, I went to his funeral as well. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> had a big game at Uno. <laughs> no one to play with him. <laughs> 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 yeah, fuck it. Yeah, so yeah, that was my. Oh. Yeah. That was our childhoods anyway. No wonder we're fucked up comedians. Fucking who know, Paul? Yeah. Yeah, there is a lack of nonsense. There was a couple on our seat. There was one in the. One who uh, lived facing us in the pub. And he was like, you know, he was always, you know, like a cartoon nonce for a bit until he got, like, found and then chased out the town. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, so, like, he was an all right nonce, but then when he yeah, actually touched he, kids, he had to go. Me, just, so, just like, um, he ran the bouncy castle in the beer garden. Oh. And it was just, like, a bit of a fucking, fucking nonce. A bit of a wrong in him. But then when he had a kid hanging off his dick, he was like... <laughs> oh, no, they found, no. like, his uh, hard drive. He had, like, 100,000 <laughs> decent images of children. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we just thought it was... Uh, <laughs> He had Shannon Matthews in a shed. Yeah, Rummy Cobandy, he was called. <laughs> <laughs> I was running around a game of Rummy Cobandy. <laughs> Fuck hell. Yeah, but, um, yeah, as I say, the, 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 the holidays, I never really went abroad, mate. It was just always, like, it was all caravans and, like, we went North Wales, you know what I mean? I went to Beef when I was 11. Did you? Yeah, first time I seen a muff as well. Seen a muff. Like a proper... Proper fanny. fanny. Yeah. But not 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 in real life. Actual real fan. No, not real. One. <laughs> uh, we went we went to Beaver and stuff. Like, oh, it was embarrassing. It was the, spi- it, was the it was the plate spinner, wasn't it? No, it's the. You've been playing at that time. Come of age. You all right? Do you want some patatas fritas? <laughs> um, it was my cousin's playing cards. I was like, oh, fucking hell! I didn't think. You know, girls look like that. Oh, was oh, you had oh, naked, naked play guards? Yeah, yeah, that's a fir- that was my first introduction to uh, Did you education. Did you have a little wank? Oh, <laughs> you didn't, yeah. I was only 11. <laughs> I, was at, I was at in awe of them, do you know what I mean? You make, uh, your, your cousin's playing blackjack and his mates later on with the fuck's the two of hearts gone? <laughs> You're like that in yours. I'm not wanking over the two of hearts. <laughs> You're a poor Queen. bird if you two of hearts. <laughs> I'm ace of spades. <laughs> 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 I just want to go with the two of us and you're a fucking low down fucking brass if you I fucking love Ibiza it's the best place in the world not when you're 11 like I've only been 11 okay. I used to do this thing like this is so embarrassing I used to like narrate my life a bit 
So I used to think there was a camera on me all the time. So when we're in the airport, this is one of the... I, I, this, I've got a real high threshold for embarrassing stories. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is what I did. And bear in mind, I'm 11. Yeah. I used to round up my day to like a newsreader. Like today on Jamie, he uh, oh. went to his grands and uh, they had hot pot. He didn't like the hot pot. And did you just say that to yourself? Yeah, yeah. In, in my bed at night. <laughs> So I used to think my life was a TV show, yeah, but, yeah. but like proper obsessed with it. I'm in the airport and I'm <laughs> they, they're going into the pl- going into the plane first time being across, and I just went, <laughs> "Watch out, Ibiza! The Hutchinsons are coming!" <laughs> out loud to myself. <laughs> you should think like my life was a sitcom. <laughs> Hutchinsons are coming to the airport. The, the Hutchinsons <laughs> are coming. Yeah, to sit in the nice family bit yeah. where it's quiet. <laughs> Oh yeah, IB for me is fucking the best place in the world. It's like just 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 for parties, for the capital of party, isn't it? You know what I mean? Yeah, I was uh, Magaluf. Was you two or three times? I've never yeah. been me. I was. It's more. It's yeah. Just it's, about, it's, it's just people to me. Like Blackpool, really? Yeah, yeah, totally. yeah, yeah. It's not as actually like Blackpool as well. Yeah, I think <laughs> I've like three times. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mali as well. Oh yeah, like proper like lads, lads holidays. Mali for two weeks. Um, so I was with this friendship group. I've got a bit of a phobia of cats. So, um, what do you call it? I, you know, you hide it from your mates, don't yeah, you? Yeah, you know, yeah. You hide all your insecurities from your friends yeah. and, you know, repress it and put it right down. Yeah. And I think anyone who talks about their feelings is soft or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm doing yeah, that, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, and um, they, they have slow to stray cats in Greece. Just gammy cats, yeah, hanging all, like, fucking scabby yeah, yeah. cats. And um, this cat like licked my elbow, and I scream like ha- falsetto. How old are you, sir? Nine, nineteen, nineteen. 19 yeah. And I scream, and it's weakness, weakness, bang into him. Do you know what I mean? And they just jump on me with this, till they're torturing me with the cat all holiday. And like, I can't walk around the complex. I'm like that about this cat. Yeah, and um, so one one time I can't swim, so they throw me in the pool. And my mates get on either end, so I can't get to the end. You have to just leave, get, you, just leave, just leave you to, to drown. Yeah. <laughs> Need some new friends, Jamie. <laughs> so they wait, they wait till I'm like, drowning, and then lift me up. But then, you know, I'll go and get to, get to the side, and then just swim past me and get to the side, so I can't get out. And I'm just like, <gasps> and I'm doggy paddling in front of all these birds on sunbeds and that, looking like a fucking flid. Right. And, I, and they go, no, no, you're all right. Go sit. So I go back to the shallow end. I'm like, oh, reprieve. And my mate held this cat behind my head. I just went, hey, is that uh, wait just behind you? So I went like that, turned and just seen this cat snarl. Oh. It's, you know when they snarl? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have screamed grease down. I've absolutely, in front of loads of birds, birds oh. absolutely embarrassing, mate. I had to get out bollock naked because they stripped me naked before it. <laughs> and um, later that night, so I'm like pretty shook up from it. Do you know what I mean? So later that night, uh, everyone had, pre- I hate the phrase, but pre-drinks in our hotel room. Yeah, our hotel room, because it was on the ground floor and that. Um, so it's on the ground floor and the shower, win- the window for the shower led out straight into the outside bit where everyone congregated. So I, I'm getting a shower. All the lads are outside, right? And do you know that, um, what's it called? That, you know, that effects in bathroom windows. But it's like... St- not see through. What's the thing? Frosty, like frosty. Frost, yeah, 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 yeah frosty, yeah. frosty glass, yeah. yeah. And the lads put this great. It was a black and white. It was like a white mangy cat, and they put a grey towel through the window. And because of the frosty glass, I thought they're putting the cat in, in the shower with me. I was just gonna say, then why's your, your mate's got all these cats? <laughs> just going around, going, let's fucking grab loads of cats yeah, here. Yeah. So Alice PC and he's ringing. <laughs> they put, they locked me in the room of it. I don't like that. So like a fucking stand Mexican standoff. <laughs> I can't move. And, um, yeah, you put a towel through. Um, but because of the frosty gas, I thought they're putting yeah, the cat yeah. through because I'm just... I'm, I'm just scared. I'm, I'm like yeah, shell-shocked, yeah, yeah. do you know what I mean? Like, we were banging it. Ah. Uh, he put this grey towel through. Screamed again. Because I just go. I just got no inhibitions. I don't even wave or anything. I'll just scream. I don't give a fuck. Um, screamed the place down and slipped in the shower and just, like, fucking... Cut me out. Yeah. <laughs> you still scared of cats now? I'll cross the road. I respect them. 
there's, if there's one on the pavement, I'll cross over and yeah, just go, yeah, like, oh, like, oh, you know, yeah. come on, give it a bit of wide berth. I was a bit, uh, I was a scared kid. Was you? Yeah. Was you? Was you? No, I was, I was fucking, confident. I was like, family parties, like, I was the fucking main attraction, you know, yeah, proper yeah. attention seeking kid, me, like. Yeah, I was, um, I used to just dance all the time, and sing. Yeah, I was, uh, I, I did privately. I haven't changed, to be honest. I did privately. I, I used to invent my own games and stuff like that. Invent my own sports. I was I quite have competitions with yourself, are there? Yeah, but I was quite into sports administration as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Not sports. <laughs> I've got the physicality for sports, yeah. but the admin side. <laughs> um, I used to play this game called uh, the Chambers Cup. What's the Chambers Cup? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm looking forward to this one. So all you need for the Chambers Cup, yeah. right? There's a cup. <laughs> no. no? Oh, no, no. Oh, I need to go, 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 You need a dictionary. <laughs> oh, <man>. <laughs> it's quite... <laughs> you need a dictionary. Yeah. You need a pen. You need a dice. And you need a pack of playing cards. The Chambers Cup is like the FA Cup. <laughs> right, okay. So what you do is you draw out oh, four of spades. This is what I enjoyed the most. Yeah. Was doing the draw. I love you know, like the FA Cup draw. Oh, yeah. So like you do it quite officially. Four of spades. At home to two. Jack of Diamonds. Seven of hearts. We'll play. Seven of clubs. Ooh, a seven derby there. That's what the kind of stuff you do. <laughs> <laughs> and then I really want to play this game now. <laughs> mate it's I class. really want to play this it's game so class though I used to play this for hours at my grand's house so I'd go to grand's on each Saturday so what is the actual one what is the actual rule yeah. so so, so you, they lined up like fixtures yeah so like yeah. four of hearts against jack of clubs seven of hearts seven of spades and you roll the dice so you roll it first for the left hand side the home team yeah three and then Thinger gets a four away team through into the next round oh they've beat them yeah yeah so it's just like that but the final is two rolls it's a two legged final what's the dictionary for because <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's better to have a chambers dictionary because the chambers cup so um, in my grand's house we had a dictionary called the chambers dictionary yeah. it's a bit like the oxford dictionary but you know for working class people yeah. <laughs> 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 what you do you write whoever won the old competition. Because remember, Four of Arts was a prolific winner. There's a bit like Arsenal. Do you know, like they just <laughs> remember, like I, I <laughs> should know this. <laughs> they just do well at the top. <laughs> so, Four of Arts, for example, and you just write its name in the Chambers Dictionary, and that's oh, like the, so like that's the, like like the so I engrave it. We've got to have a game of this. It's fucking class, mate. So you've got to work it out to thirty-two. So there's some games where it's free. So so there's, there's 50 don't you have buyers no? There's, no, there's 52 playing cards and some. However, I worked it out. There's like three. Yeah. So you get down to last 32. Another game you invent. Oh, this is embarrassing because I like a roll of honor. Yeah, I love rolls of honor. Okay. Top tens, stuff like that. Yeah. This is when a girl seen it. My roll of honor. <laughs> I um, I used to play darts against myself. How many friends came with the gym? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was quite. I was relatively. As long as you're happy. Yeah, I was relatively popular. I played out and stuff. Yeah. We used to play a game called Throw a Brick at the Wall. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> one time we split a girl's head open, so I got barred from that. I think I know the rules. So throw a brick at the wall. <laughs> wall. <laughs> you throw a brick at the wall, and it's the first one who smashes it. You can't smash it anymore. Uh, so go yeah. until it goes. Yeah, so you yeah. break it in two and then you pick one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But one time Benita Griffin ran round the corner and it was fucking <laughs> dashed and break it around. Uh, that was murder, that. Um, wasn't literally murder, she survived. Yeah. But um, yeah, so I used to play darts against myself. What I used to do with darts World Cup. So I'd play all 16 teams, all 16 nations. Different characters? Yeah. And I, I, I genuinely had different throws for different countries. <laughs> I swear to change your shit shit. He's gone and 16 the shit shit. I, I did different facial expressions, so I'll do that for like the English one. No, they're concentrated. Yeah. Then, like, they're like, like the Netherlands, like dead fast, <laughs> aren't they? 
that's what, that's what I was doing. <laughs> so oh, fucking God. ridiculous. So I just used to play out matches, but I'd play for 13 hours a night. I was... I was you didn't go to play then? No. I've just not got the cognitive coordination. Oh, or right. I was all right. You get the odd one eighty, yeah, but it's yeah. not from not scale. It's, yeah. it's like it's just repet- yeah, yeah, so yeah. repetitive. So um, repetitive. And this is when I'm seventeen, eighteen. By the way, this is, there's no excuse for you. Yeah, yeah. When um, all your mates, you're know, wasting the time. You know, shagging birds and that. You're <laughs> playing against yourself at <laughs> but, the Arts World Cup. Yeah, but I used. Ah. Oh, I used to write on the back of me, I had like <laughs> empty chat with gels in me in me uh, in my wardrobe, the top shelf in my wardrobe. Yeah. So every time a shower gel ran out, I know oh, that's a that'll be a trophy. <laughs> and I en- I engraved it, but I played so often. I had like three or four shower gels with a sharpie on the back, like you know, two thousand and nine, Peru, <laughs> two thousand and ten, you know, Belgium, whatever. I took a bit, <laughs> took a bit, oh <laughs> What's up, what are all these countries are these places you've been? <laughs> this where you bought the shower gels? <laughs> no, it's... Did you tell her? <laughs> yeah. You didn't tell her? Yeah, that's when... Uh, was that after you shagged though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you ain't going to tell yeah, her before no, you shagged no, her, was no, you? No, 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 she would have fucking ran out. But it's you? things in the future. So I think she... Because obviously I'm playing so often. I'm in like 2015, me fucking darts world. She's like, oh, is this place you want to visit and stuff like that? Went, Can I come with you? <laughs> no, it's that's what What are you talking about? <laughs> did, but did you tell her you played on your own? Like yeah. the first story, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's like my niche, really. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. just comfortable with me being myself around girls. I think because you just got to, aren't you? I can't be asked blagging it. Really. Yeah, too. Actually, yeah. You just got. To, I'm just like, listen, I'm a fucking at the ball, but yeah. you either get on board or you yeah, don't. Yeah. It's an acquired taste, don't get me wrong. Hop onto the Hutchinson train or <laughs> exactly. hop off. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, the dormant train. <laughs> Hutchinson <laughs> so, here. <laughs> yeah, so I had, um, had loads of games invented to myself. I used to, like, used to be very competitive with myself. Like, I play gate, like, play, like, do, like, say if, say I wanted to do something, like, like, say, I, mean, I worked at my uncle's printer, and um, he, there used to be like repetitive jobs, like where you print stuff out and you have to staple them. Like, I put it in talking thousands and oh. thousands of stuff. <laughs> so, like, in my head, I'd be like, I've done 200 in this hour, I need to get 200. Like, you'll know, beat it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'd go run into my uncle and say, like, fucking smash the day, you know. Like, you know, like stuff like that. And my uncle would be like, you're fucking 21, like, what are you doing? <laughs> But like I used to like to be dead competitive with stuff like I'm a competitive person, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like so I am a bit. Yeah. I'm just terrible at stuff. And it really <laughs> eats away at me because I'm bad at everything and I hate losing. Yeah. But I've lost so often. But you know when you say competitions for yourself, do you remember when you used to get baths? Yes, well no, I guess shouting off. My granddad used to bath. Me. <laughs> he used to like say say how long you can hold your breath underwater. And he'd have like world records for me throughout the year, and like personal best. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he'd set a world record. I think he might have been trying to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> so he'd go like the world record. World record, shame is yeah, wor- three minutes. The world record, like, like <laughs> twenty three seconds or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Oh, your personal best is like because I was obsessed. Do you with reckon he wanted you to be a swimmer or something? Maybe. No, it shuts me up in the bath, doesn't it? Yeah. Just like yeah, bathing yeah, it. I was yeah, just like, yeah. oh, time me. Yeah. I just used to. Did you get good at it? I can only breath, yeah. Can you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't. I um, I had an argument with my mum about how we have our baths recently. <laughs> Individual baths. Yeah, yeah. She walked in on me. Um, I'm sort of barred from the upstairs bathroom now. Have you got two bathrooms? Yeah, but not in a Tory way. Yeah, yeah. We inherited my dad down his house. Oh, I went in it and then it's yeah, cost, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so they had a shower room because like, yeah. my granddad was disabled, yeah, so they yeah, had a shower yeah. fitted. So it's not it weren't a two bedroom, were not a two bathroom. Yeah, I've got, house. I've, I've got the same amount. Yeah, but it's oh, just yeah, adapted, yeah, yeah. Um, which is good for me because I have me on bathroom. <coughs> yeah, but I, mean, I, I I did me knee in a in a fucking dance off. <laughs> you were gonna say darts real good then. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to master that fucking Zimbabwe throw. P- 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 Peru won by fucking <laughs> default. It's fucking England blew out his knee in a dart World Cup. <laughs> the final. I'm sorry I've let you down. <laughs> <laughs> like Beckham and his metal tassel. Like that, Bob. 
a little gas like, <laughs> yeah, like that. Keep your eye on it. Keep your eye on it. Oh. Yeah. So, uh, what was I saying now? About yeah. the baths with your mum. Oh, yeah, yeah. Me, I'm, I'm sort of bad from the upstairs bathroom. Um, I did my knee um, in a dance off against some hairdressers. Um, so I've, I've like hyper extended my knee. Just before and that, it, I really want to know where, how I said yeah. it. And it. Where was the dance off with the hairdressers? Gay Village. Oh, was it? Yeah. And yeah, they yeah. were on a night nice out and you were on a night nice out then? Yeah. Rival hairdressing academies. Did you win? I think they didn't want a dance off. I won't by default. I just pictured you all onto these group of girls on a fucking Christmas night out and you're like that. That's what I was dance off. It was guys though. So I work for oh, hair. Oh yeah. Okay. I, I work in sales for a hairdressing academy. Oh do you? And we have a we have a rival hairdressing academy around the corner. But it's it's a bit of a bitter rivalry. My manager and their boss used to go out with each other. Get a gaze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So there's a there's to us, the the normal staff, it's it's friendly, but the owners hate each other. Do you know what I mean? So it's like bit Boss like, used to fuck. Yeah. No, because there used to be there used to be like um an agreement, you know, like turf stuff. Oh, ah, yeah, and, and then, now, then, then, then once and that, now yeah, it's, it's now it's getting, a, yeah, like robbing each other's customers and all that. Robbing yeah. each other's salons, yeah. so it's a bit of a free for all. But it's oh, it's like a, stealing staff off each other and all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's a bit, it's a bit Montague Capulet. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So we happen love story in twenty twenty two. We're always on the piss together. Yeah. We're always on the piss. With yeah. Hairdressers are good drinkers. Yeah, like. yeah. Um, we're, so we're out, and it's when I first got the job in sales. And I'm pretty good at sales, get quite confident. Yeah. Um, and uh, we're out, and he just goes, oh, you've, oh, shit, I shouldn't say the name. Company X are in. So he went, oh, that's Martin, he's the owner. My manager, like, pro- like dead camp, but lovely fella. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Sound like my grand, though. <laughs> <laughs> dead, dead camp, but yeah. um, fucking, like, one of the lads sort yeah, of things, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Um, and he's like, oh, that's Martin, he's, he, and you see him there. Pointed at this lad, rucksack on. He just went, uh, bleach blonde hair, fit as fuck. Yeah. He just went, he's their sales guy, and this is the red rag. He's their version of you. I went, oh, there's no version of me. Yeah. Went right over to him. I went, oh, slant yourself a slut dropped. But then I do, and then I do, um, my, I, have a, I have a dance where I hop on one leg. And swing me over like round. So, hop and swing, yeah, front yeah. and back, and it looks class. <laughs> like <laughs> I think it looks class. Okay. But I'm like, yeah, yeah. He don't know me. He don't know I'm in hairdressing or anything. I'm just going over to him, dead aggressive, like and that, just doing this fucking, fucking dancing, move. dancing his fucking face. I think you know you wear your arms sounds, do you? And I'm like, square. I'm. I'm pissed. Yeah. And I'm just assuming the relationship. Yeah, there. yeah. My manager's behind me going, Yeah, get him, get him. Like that. So I, I was like, Oh, how many, how, how many salons you got this week and that? And I went, Oh, Nick's, I nicked a big salon off him. Yeah. Off them. And I just went, Oh, yeah. What were you doing with your finger account? You know, ABCR account, whatever it's called. Joe trash talking him. He was like, oh, He's like, I don't know like, who you are. You, you are. Like, it's rucksack. <laughs> I'm dancing his face. And I do a big finish, right? Bit like Ronaldo celebration, but not Ronaldo yeah, celebration, yeah, yeah. but you know, a bit more artistic. And I landed and hyper extended my knee, and it just, it just went. And it just went, and I was like, casual pain, casual pain in front of hairdressers. I just went to the corner to lick my wounds. So anyway, I had to you'd have been fucked if he said round to you, bitch. Yeah, you? no, he left. <laughs> he left. I can imagine, yeah. Went. But it, all, the story got round all the directors. Oh, he had a uh, dance off with uh, Company X and one, and it's just like I was like this cult hero at work. So you walk in on Monday, I was like that. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's what I mean. I swear like that. that. Like, swear <laughs> that. I, in my head, it was like West Side Story. So like, I'm yeah. dancing over, and everyone's behind me like that. In my head, that's what was going on. But really, I was just like, it sounds <laughs> you <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Have we got the phone now? Yeah, I, you got some sounds with me. <laughs> <laughs> but in my head, it's like, you know, I'm in a trilby and yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. skinny <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, 
So anyway, that meant I've got to have baths for the next week. You know, yeah. I can't meet yeah, yeah. Just, like the hot on it, the, the heat on it. So when was the last time you had a bath? It's easy, like years yeah. Just because I've got a, I've got a wet room shower, you know yeah. what I mean? So I, it's like I'm it's just quick in it, it's just I'm like getting out. I'm shower. Yeah. So I'm, I'm forced into this bath. I hate baths even yeah, at I the do. best of time. Unless, you know, I'm old and be breath to try and break the world record for my granddad's <laughs> approval. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like baths. I, I, it's the heat. I can't get in the heat. I just think it's don't like unhygienic me. Yeah. You know I mean, you're lying, you're on dirt. That's the point. Yeah. I'm not asked for hygiene. <laughs> yeah. I just think you're like also yeah, yeah, discolored yeah. of that, you can't even see it. You're like, I was oh, bad. Oh, like back in the I used to have to jump in after my mum and that, and then my brother jump in after me. Yeah, yeah. Do you know, like, it's yeah. like it's one bath water. Do you know, it's yeah. bad, like. Um so me and my mum fundamentally disagree. I think I might be in the minority. Don't get me wrong. But I would just want you to see my way of thinking and you know, don't be as repulsive as my mum. Because she walked in on me. She walked in the bathroom where I'm in the bath naked. Like that? But no, there's no water in. I get in an empty bath first. I'll fill it up while you fill it around me. Do you? Because, do you know, if you put a frog in part of the water, it jumps out. But if you put a frog in a pan and boil water around it, it will stay and get used to the heat. It dies. But I needed the heat. Yeah. So I'm trying to explain this frog proverb to me mum when she's looking at me in the bath. <laughs> I went, no, mum, you don't. She went, what are you doing? You're on drugs, Jamie. <laughs> I went, I'm, I'm having a bath. <laughs> There's no water. I went, yeah, but, you know, if you put a frog <laughs> explaining this story to her, she went, and she just went, she was looking at me, you know, you know hurtful, yeah, like, hurtfully looking at me like, I've raised a fucking dud here. I've raised a dud. And she just goes in a dead sincere tone, but you're not a frog. <laughs> She's got a point out, just with her. But it works out. So, do you always do that? I ne- I'm showers. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm 90, 95% yeah, of the time. Yeah. It was only because I needed heat around yeah. my leg to like ease the injury. And I thought, I hate getting in hot baths. I can't get in them. Yeah. But I'll just fill it around me and get used to it and stuff like that. I had a dance off once. In, I, in Ibiza. 10,000 people. No. Well, there wasn't 10,000. <laughs> About how many do you reckon, Paul? 30. 30. Nah, <laughs> I, nah do, what do you reckon, really? Because we, cause we were all bladder than that. We were all... S- do you reckon? Yeah. I reckon it's a bit more... Anyway, so I was saying yeah, it's big, a big, That's still a big cloud, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mate, it's absolutely smashed it. So he, even at the end of it, yeah, like I was bringing out all like fucking the drill and everything. Fucking <laughs> oh, mate. <laughs> Honestly, I just brought out everything. The kid, he just he just didn't have a chance. Yeah, the yeah, crowd yeah, yeah. going nuts. And even at the end of the dance off, yeah, I shook his hand. Oh, right, oh, turned him round and bummed him. Oh Stinks. my god! And Danny was like that. Get off now! I was yes. like no. Oh mate, yeah, the car class. just erupted, mate. It's yeah, fucking yeah, great. Yeah. That's class. Love a dance off. I think, I think, because you don't get judged on the dancing, really. It's no. just the, it's the confidence and the theatrics. The yeah, it's exactly. So, yeah. yeah, I used to, um, I used to wear a trilby and a skinny tie because you know I needed a thing. So you're like, ah, this. Was this just in life or on stage? No, in life. Oh, in life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> 18, 19, first going out in town and stuff, you know, break from the darts, go Ooh. out, have a few drinks. <laughs> I used to wear a job, you know, skinny tie. The first night I had out in town, I was 18, a uh, place called Varsity. You know, it's one of them places, you know, like Pound, Vodka, Red. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, that. But yeah. Trashy place, but, you know, just, yeah. we were trashy people. <laughs> so I've got in this, I went, oh, fucking hell, is it that? So it's getting attention off birds, and they're, like, pulling me skinny tie and all that kind of stuff. Like, yeah. I was skinny back then. I was pretty s- slim. This girl like takes my tie off and like swings it around. Starts starts undoing my buttons as if I'm gonna like you know flinch. Well, I, don't, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. So she went, "Oh no, he's shy. He's shy. He's not like, shy." I stripped bollock naked, and I folded my clothes neatly in the corner of this dance floor, and I'm, I go back on the dance floor bollocko and start not windmilling, but you know making me willy go up and down. Just like that. Yeah, up and down. And because I've got a big bell end, it w- it made a proper thud sound. 
It looked fucking mint, did it? Yeah, yeah. Where was the dormer, mate? Yeah, I got carried yeah. out. I got so... <laughs> the place is, like, fucking buzzing off me, though. I'm not doing any harm, either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, like, you know, trill me Do you want to expose yourself to girls, like? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but she loved it. <laughs> <laughs> she's decided it, do you know what I mean? Yeah, nah, she... I went. I went. Did like, you have your hat on? I had my hat on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You can leave but your I, hat on. I, I had it at um, a Jean Ti angle. Do you like Neo? Yeah, yeah. So for months, I was, we- I was wearing it at a Jean Ti angle. Yeah. But I thought it was a Jean Ti angle. Do you like Neo used to wear it? Yeah. Just covering one eye. But my mate went, oh, you've got it on sideways. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the wrong way. <laughs> for years, like fucking year though. And um, bouncers carried me out, <laughs> bollock naked. And I was like, oh, let me get me close first. So it <laughs> carried me out, bollocko. And then, so I'm stood in the middle of city centre, near St. Peter's Square, bollock naked, waiting for them to go and get me, um, get me close. Like, so I was just like that. Like, I didn't give a you fuck. You don't give a fuck like that, though? Didn't give no. a fuck. I've been naked so many times in, in public. <laughs> don't care whatsoever. Oh, God. You forgot to tell her, you forgot to tell her you were naked <laughs> a blind date as well. <laughs> <laughs> just a little, just a little what's it covering it <laughs> <laughs> little what's it and two tangy toms <laughs> oh class that you know I was dead self conscious me you know but not, not anymore I, I was like for a long time yeah. like a long time I used to even like in the summer I used to wear like I used to wear jackets to, to think it hard like me weight, you know what I mean? Like yeah, I was, yeah. was just silly just when you I, think about it. But you know when you know when you well like you, you never had it because you said you've always been like that, but the day I just stopped giving on a fuck, I just lived a better life. Like yeah. I don't care what people I think. think for, I, I, say, was, you know I, mean? I think I was self conscious. And I went so extremely the other way. Yeah. To that, try and yeah, get yeah, over it. It's yeah, like yeah. I was a really shy kid. Yeah, yeah. And I would do stand up in front yeah. of you know, See, I, I wasn't it was more yeah. more my teens, you know what I mean? When you get older and like parents yeah, and yeah, and yeah. you start I was, and then I got to like mid twenties, twenty four, twenty five, and I just now, yeah. mate, I'm fucking, I'm an animal. I was really, I, I, I had um, a personality change when I was nine because I changed primary schools. So me mum and me mum and me gran, like, had a big fallout over my dad's nose. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 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 Do one of those breaking points where there's. Oh my god! It was. It was. You know, like, your nan and and me, your mum and your gran me had, gra- had a yeah. fallout over your dad's nose. Yeah, but I think that was just you know one of them skitters' nose. Outside the buckaroo, do you know, there's sim- me gran hated me mum. Oh, and she just used and, that. And, it. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. So my dad, had, but, oh, all it was, my dad had. Oh, was your dad's mum? My dad's mum. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And me nana and me gran, like, I, I was having fucking murder in the street. I thought I was going to have a fucking have a fight in front of the playground when I'm only, like, six, like, staring at, like, fucking... It just, it's yes, just... It's, yeah. it's just a disrespect. They're all sound now and stuff yeah. like that. Mum and dad aren't together, but they're all yeah. sound. Um, so, uh, yeah, my dad had an operation on his nose. Just something minor, you know, to help his breathing. Yeah. And um, so he was still under... So the doctors called me Marsh and yeah, he's had surgery, all successful and that. He's still under, but you know, come in a few hours and stuff. So my Marsh dropping me off at school. My grandma's head dinner lady. So she's there really doors, you know, getting all the tab yeah. out and you know, making sure the trays are clean. Some <laughs> smarty <laughs> faces are golden. <laughs> 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 Turning them frowns upside down <laughs> on the smiley faces. <laughs> they get they got miserable ones in it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 you got them cheap. Yeah. You got frowny faces. Um, this is before Jamie Oliver coming and wrestling. Yeah, yeah. Was oh, like, oh no, yeah, cunt. yeah, 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 right, fucking bastard. Um, yeah, so my grandma went, oh, I was, I was Mark. She said, oh, I don't know. And ju- as my mum was about to elaborate by saying, oh, he's still under. Yeah. So my grandma's just heard, oh, I don't know. I mean, Grant's just going, you've never fucking loved him, he's like, and all that kind of stuff. So, you're watching this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All in front of me, like, and me sitting there. Yeah, yeah. And my ma pulled me out of that primary school movement because she was like, you know, your grand's kind of propaganda you and stuff like that. Fucking hell. So I know, like, oh, what about going to my grand's house on a Friday and stuff like that? I've got a world record to beat on the back of that. So she moved me, and I was a bit. 
I was always like quite academic, you know, top of the class and things like that in yeah. just general maths and English and stuff. I I wowed year four, for example, when I went to the thirteens in the timetable. Never been done before. So <laughs> You <laughs> only went to 12 by 12. Yeah, yeah. And I did 13 times 13 on my own head. In your own head. Oh, man. <laughs> well, off in that classroom, please. <laughs> Don't, they was like, fucking hell, this guy's not fucking yeah, wizard. He's not fucking up after his mature, is he? They thought the world stopped at 12. <laughs> it's a 13. <laughs> I'm telling you. I've seen it. <laughs> like Christmas, Christopher Columbus. <laughs> so I moved primary school and I thought I need a bit of a PR change and I've always been guilty of this in me in me surround in me following years is I just change into a bit of a bad boy so I threw, a pe- threw pencil at the teacher's head just like, trying to fit in yeah think, just yeah. like I wanted I wanted the image of I've been like transferred from prison <laughs> You know, I've been, I tried making out. I'd been kicked out of school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen to this. I, I, I went through a stage of horrifically lying. And um, I told this girl that I played for Bayern Munich. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I was like, I was saying, you know, you know, I said, you said Bayern Munich. I said, I would be able, to, be able to find that out. So, yeah, you know, you, play, are you out of cost of smart? <laughs> you, know, yeah. you know, I played for Bayern Munich. Did you say yeah, I've just moved back from Germany you know? No, 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 I was just like, no, I go there on the weekends. So. <laughs> <laughs> I played for, for Bayern Munich under 12, so I don't know. <laughs> just made Wor- one of the worst sides I ever got caught on. Right, my biggest crush I've been life. Yeah, uh, called Nicola. Right, I fucking, I've never had that infatuation again. I like, like, girl, I like, you know. Had a bit of a thing, you know, when you're dating someone, you're like, oh, this could yeah. go somewhere. Well, I was this was like, yeah, was obsessed with Yeah, I've had one of them, yeah. And I'm like, it's um, new to this school sort of thing. She's seen him a bit of a fucking bad boy. She was a bit of a, you know, she was a bit of a naughty kid as well. But we was both intelligent, both yeah, like top yeah. set, but with an edge. I was like, right, I've got, we've got that in common, do you know what I mean? I feel like this Bonnie and Clyde stuff yeah. in my head. <laughs> and I need, I need a way in with her. A year of talking at dinner, and do you remember the Who Shot Phil f- storyline in EastEnders? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's like, oh, you know, I think it's, uh, you know, whatever. She went, no, no, because she went, no, because um, so uh, not even the actors know who it is. It's just going to get revealed and stuff like that. And I cut in the conversation. I know who it is. I said, I, like that. I said, I go to drama school. <laughs> 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 me, me drama teacher was a producer on EastEnders and she told us all but we're not allowed to tell anyone I was like, oh, come on tell us I can't Can't. I can't she said, oh, come on tell us come outside I, said, I can't I've got Frank Furt away <laughs> 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 so, and, and um, I just build it up that I know yeah, and, and, and she's like Yo, what but, then you, but, then, but then you come back to her and, and then go yeah, yeah. Hey, and, well, I can't tell you, you know, and then I go right it's it's Ian Beale. I just Campbell. Because I knew it was one of six. Yeah, yeah. Because they had it in the paper, didn't they? Yeah, like, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it was either Ian Beale. Uh, yeah, that Tracy was. Dan. It? Was yeah, Tracy Beard? Lisa. Was yeah. Tracy was the one with like, the like, spiky blonde Cur- hair. Curly hair, yeah, like, Lisa. Yeah. <laughs> Pull a leather jacket on the spiky. Yeah. No, no, not Shirley. Shirley, it wasn't. Nah, it? nah she, she was. She was with the suspects. Nah, it was before she was in it. She was oh, in was Bad it? Girls back then as Yvonne Atkins. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So it was Lisa who did it. Yeah. Uh, Dan, who was going out with Carol, but yeah, Shaq Bianca. Dan, Dan Joe the Tan lad. He's always in fucking them shit football hooligan films. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, him. Mark Fowler was a suspect. Ian Beale. So I just plucked for the air. Ian Beale, who went, oh, yeah. he's shoved his head down the bog before. It'll be revenge for that, and that. Yeah. And, um, and I've got st- nothing left. And we start a bit of a kinship over it. Yeah. And then it got revealed. It's Lee, so I was like, oh, you and fucking she come in the next bastard. day and said, you for <laughs> Yeah, I thought my life came tumbling down. Right? You wait for Bayern Munich, can we get the school team? You <laughs> 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 must be joking. And I was like, oh, that would be welcome. Did you tell everyone to. as well that you lied to her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you were fucked there, wasn't you? But Back I had, to play him fucking. Well, no, I had a girl who was obsessed with me. Uh, we still speak every now and then and laugh about it. She used to write about me in the diary. 
as someone found a diary. So it all got out like she fancied me and stuff like that. Um, but I went that into her because she looked like she'd been hit on the head with a pan. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh. So uh, we went to the um, the old school dance. So all the girls on one side, I'll yeah, tell you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a dance every month. In the Abbey, oh, no, in no the one's a good dancer. <laughs> I, I wish I was that cool. Uh, and no one can out eat me and sherbet, so you <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. But so it was uh, Abbey a Social Club, and um, it, this is like the, the weeks leading up to it. And, and all the friends was like, Oh, just go out with her, just go out with her. I was like, No, no, because I had a bit of cachet because I was like a new kid, you know. <laughs> I've got yeah. 12 Bayern Munich caps <laughs> under my <me> belt. <laughs> I had this bit of cachet about yeah. me. I was, I was still a bit interested in new kid sort of thing. And um, this girl called uh, Stephanie, she uh, stood on a table. She's massive. And she went, ask her out, I'm going to fucking jump on you. So I asked her out, sort of against me will. And the whole class <laughs> enveloped around us. So it's like it was on a, it was like a first dance at a wedding. So I went, oh no, I I do like you as well. Will you go out with me? And she fucking ran off and just left me in this circle on my own. She swerved you? No, nah, she she accepted, but she was so overwhelmed that I'd asked her. She like ran off crying into her mum's arms and stuff like that. But it looked like did she, you go out with her? Yeah, for a bit. I dumped her because I fancied someone else, um, and I said, I, this is quite you know, you know, domestic violence. <laughs> Tendencies. Well, we was colouring in. We was. <laughs> we was colouring in. <laughs> and I went, colour that tree in blue for me. <laughs> and she went, I'm not colouring my tree in blue. I went, well, if you love me, colour that tree in blue. And cause I just wanted a way out. So I thought, if I act like a dickhead, she'll yeah, dump yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Rather than buy the she bullet. Called, basically called the tea in blue, didn't she? <laughs> no, she, she coloured it green and brown. And I saw that. Said, what the fuck? I like, saw that yeah. as disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I went, this ain't gonna work. This, <laughs> you know. So I ended it with her. Uh, I had a crush on. I colour me tree in blue. For <laughs> <laughs> I had a crush on this girl called Amy. So that was Abby, Pan girl. Um, I hope she don't want that. Um, I had I had a crush on this girl called Amy. We got really close friends and stuff, and uh, was in the nativity. She's in the choir, and I'm the narrator. Do you know what I mean? I'm fucking yeah. smashing it now. In uh, year six, I'm the narrator in year six, and I swear to God, this had built up like, oh, you know, everyone's joking. Like, oh, you used to yeah, go out with each other. No, we're not. We're just friends. Oh, like, girls, no. And it built and built, and I swear to God, right, I was the narrator, and I, I had this plan in my head. Of stopping the nativity and going, but Christmas isn't about the nativity. It's not about presents. It's about love, and I love Amy. Bottled out of it, right? You never done it, yeah? No, bottled out. But listen that to this. So good. Listen to this. So all the way through the play, every time I'm getting up, I'm looking at her for comfort, and she's like that, smiling at me. And every time she's singing, she's looking at me, and I'm giving her a comforting eye. Yeah. At the end of the uh, at the end of the play, it's you know the sexual chemistry is off the chain. <laughs> I can't be honest. You know, you can pierce it with a knife. How old are you at this stage? Ten. You've had some experiences, haven't you, Jamie? You've had some experiences. Let me tell you that. So her uh, best mate, Callie, she comes up to. Sh- in hindsight, I now know Amy sent her to find out. So Amy comes up to me, and uh, Callie comes up to me and she just goes, um, "Do you uh, do you fancy Amy?" Uh, and then I'm like, you know, so with me mate, what? Yeah. No, no, ew, no. She, yeah, well, she doesn't like you anyway, so shut up. And then the friendship kind of petered out a little bit. It yeah. ended, it, you know, we were still friends and stuff. And then in high school. Um, she got drafted into X and I was Y. So we had two halves of the year. Yeah, one yeah. was X, one was Y, and it's just, you know, you can't go no, out with... don't really see each other, yeah. You can't go out with an X girl. 
I was a yeah, was yeah. politics. Oh, <laughs> fucking rude. We had two cocks of the year. One named Piggy, one named Paul. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> Please tell me they fought each other. They had a fight. It's and good. it was, I swear to God, I got more excited over that than like Mayweather, Pacquiao, Canelo, Triple really? G. Anything, mate. Like planned. He was long yeah, to like build yeah. up to and, and everything. Yeah. It was press conference. It, 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 was, it was a political draw. But they were the two cocks of the year. Like, what was you? What was you representing? I, I was Y. I was under Piggy. Under Piggy's <laughs> under Piggy. regime. Yeah. Was Piggy a little fucker? Was he? No, he just so, had pig-like eyes. Oh, the dead behind the soul. He's he's scary. A, oh, he comes from like a gangster family. Oh, oh yeah, one of kids. Yeah, yeah. That was me. F- talk about performing under pressure. This got the, he got me through high school. Who Piggy did? Yeah, Joe was uh, his wing. as a bit of a. Uh, he's, he's all right. It's Piggy sound with him. Yeah, so I never ah, got, yeah, yeah. Because I used to do impressions of teachers. Oh, so I was, like, got like I don't have to be self like being funny in school yeah, to yeah. get me to do it. You know what I mean? So okay. get bullied. Come out of the canteen, I've got two Dr. Peppers, one in each place, a pocket, right? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking ready to go. <laughs> and he just goes, You're Jamie Hutchinson, aren't you? And he says he's got all his cronies behind him. Like three fucking henchmen. And <laughs> 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 he's just goes, You're Jamie Hutchinson, aren't you? And he went, Yeah, he went, uh, heard you funny. So I'm like, fuck, have I said something about him? Do you know what I mean? Because I used to, you know... Hello, slag- what are you meant to say back to that? So I'm like, oh, I've slag- oh, 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 fucking slagged him off here. Yeah. And he corners me, he just goes, I heard you do impressions. I went, yeah, I do. You know, I went, Go on then. I had to do like fucking, hey, Miss Alice, like from Liverpool, coming over here and telling us about his sleep. And you're just like, oh, Mr. Brown, yeah, all right, yeah. uh, geography next. <laughs> you're just doing... Generic scouts, yeah, brummy, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. I just went, and he didn't laugh. He just went, you're not right, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> so and then you chewing his cronies. And he was just like, um, I don't give you any credit. It was not like he's yeah, like yeah, Pacino yeah. or something. Yeah. I got a fucking golden like handshake. Got a I got a golden handshake here, so I was like, gobsh. I was like, oh yeah, fucking Piggy. So what, yeah. what was what happened with build up to, to Piggy and Paul? Oh, it's everything. It was, was it? this was end of year eight. So you know, it's always so talks prime like, as well. It's not like these, yeah, yeah. like maybe they got older and then yeah. passed the past the prime. Oh no, no, no I got them, I mean? got them out of good. Because yeah, not like year, Karen, in year, now, is it? In year you know seven, I mean? there's yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a year seven in year eight war in our in our school. So as soon as you come in year seven, the year eight's fucking kicks shit out. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah and that happens in every school. You've got to pass it on stuff. So year seven, it was sort of you know. Finding out who you are, isn't it? Yeah. You, you find your groups and that, don't you? And like, yeah, yeah. And there's a bit of unity. Yeah. It's like, look, you know, it's Lovely like and Manchester yeah. and Liverpool, but at least we're not London. Yeah, Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's yeah. against them. Like, yeah. No, we're year seven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but then year eight takes so long. Yeah. You know, the war's not warming up with year seven. There's got to be summit building. And there's like, I think there's, you know, a couple of them, it's like, who is, who's the cock of the year? Oh, fucking Piggy's the cock. You know, everyone in white is like, oh, yeah, Piggy, Piggy's, Piggy's the guy, it. yeah. And X is like, fucking Paul, mate. Have you seen Paul's dad? You know, just stuff like Paul. Is Paul from like a, 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 a serious family as well, or he's he just like his, his surname is quite Russian, so I don't think anyone like delved into it. He yeah. set a girl's head on fire in uh, oh, just a in year nine. Ball, yeah, it's a fucking head the ball. Like, they both were. So they had a fight, and it was just. The, just the build up to it, it was, like, it was all people talk about it, you know, dinner and yeah. like, in lessons. Like, oh, fucking, you got Piggy and Paul tickets. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, go and watch Piggy and Paul. I think even the some of the teachers like, just like that. Piggy and Paul. Yeah, so it's like a political draw. So, yeah. but you don't really, you don't really liaise with X. Really, yeah. you stick to your Y boys. Yeah. And you know the X lads were, were you know their own group. So Amy's in X, I'm in Y. And in year eight, canteen. Who won, by the way? Political oh. draw. Really? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Chief, <laughs> listen. I'll have I can't a beef. Go back to Manchester, my big one. I'll have a beef with Rob Thomas and Wesley. I, well, I'm not <laughs> fucking picking parts out of the podcast. <laughs> We go going to the frog. Is there any chance we could get maybe Piggy and Paul on the podcast? He was in the yo. Piggy was in the pub. Piggy was in the pub um, when United played Villa. Did you see him? Yeah. No, but I was out. With, I swear to God, I was out with my best mate from, yeah. from school and everything, and he just went. Piggy's just walked in. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> 
it's full like, of flashbacks still, come back. They still have that. Very Joe funny. Which is, which is <laughs> they, still, they still have that. They still have that aura about him. Yeah, if you they? saw him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So they're like, I'm not all hood and he's like, can I just... I, I, I just like, oh, yeah. God, I'm glad we're in a separate room, lad. Oh, it's just different or separate than the boozy, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah um, but Piggy's family lived next door but two to me gran. Um, so I was always... Quite like tight with them anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I always yeah. had a bit of a... And my family's quite well known in the area, so... Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's like a mutual thing, and it's like you yeah, just yeah, yeah. don't fuck about with people like that. Do you? Yeah, because like, yeah. like my dad and uncles are mates, so his dad and uncles. Yeah, so, so yeah, yeah. So it's like no, he's an he's an Utchinson, he's yeah, fine, yeah, he's yeah, sound. Yeah. Uh, so I, I never really got grief that way, just because my family are all like pretty well known, really, in Paul, the area. And fucking and Paul's just in fucking Moscow now. <laughs> so, <laughs> KGB just, just lighting beds on fire. <laughs> <laughs> so so anyway, X and Y were the same. So this two years has passed. We're in year eight. I turn around and I remember this vividly. This is one of the most hurtful moments. And my PR is starting to drip a little bit, so I was a bit of a tramp and stuff. I won tramp of the year at school and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> no, so I just got sent an oversized blazer and yeah, fucking yeah. shit shoes yeah. and you just get fucking ripped for it, don't you? I didn't give a fuck, but um, my rep's a bit dipped. People who knew me knew I was like class clown and yeah, stuff, but... Yeah. To the wider fraternity, you know, yeah. I'm a hero to 30, but I know about it to 280. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I turn around, uh, get me dinner and that, and Amy nudges. Two dollar babies. <laughs> <laughs> Amy nudges a mate, a mate who's one of the, like the cool girls. It has to be in my drama playing year 11. Um, rat, and. Uh, she she nudges her mate Naomi and just got to see him. I fancied him like fucking year six. So I'm like, I'm, I'm like, this is like, I loved you too and all that kind of stuff. And just as I'm about to say, oh no, I fancied you, uh, Naomi went. She thinks you're fucking ugly now though. I was like, what? Say oh. name. Amy. Uh, a mate. Name Naomi. Name was Naomi. Yeah. But she's got fucking three kids and no dads now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That. <laughs> Yeah, and that's why I didn't cast you in my play. Yeah, slut. A suspicious suicide. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, I, I joined the choir. I joined the choir because it's one of my crushes. <laughs> Honestly, God. It's a good you know. job I could sing, though. What, yeah? How old? Year six. Oh, so pre bollocks yeah. dropping. And I went, to like a, I went to like a Catholic school as well. Mm. So it was a proper church choir. And this, this girl, Jenny, like my biggest crush in primary school. Honestly, God, mate, she was. It is hard, isn't it? She was there. She meant she meant everything to me. <laughs> everything. And I just because she, she was like the lead singer in, in the choir, like oh. I thought I've got to join, and then I ended up taking her place. No. Yeah. That's class. And she that. hated me. Oh no. Hated me, lad. Yeah. I need to really look her up. You know, I never have. Yeah, I look. I look up me. Um, me old primary school haunts and. Yeah. See what they're up to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's mad, isn't it? Yeah, I got into it. I went to an all boys school. How did you go? Nah, I was fucking. It was marginal. Like I was wish I was in a, a mixed school. Actually, no, I don't. I probably would have had a hard time. Yeah, I got, I got, um, not battered off yeah. a girl, but you know, she was all on points. <laughs> <laughs> I was playing footy with my mates, playing heads and some volleys on the field and that because we had, you know, just went on the school pitches yeah, and just yeah. you know the. The post and I was just playing heads and fods on there, and um, these girls were finishing rounders or whatever they was playing off fucking yeah. rugby by the sides of the cunts, <laughs> <laughs> and they were they, they were like two years below me as well. So we're playing footy, and they're rough as fuck. Yeah, and they they shout something, but I don't hear it. I'm just playing with my mates. And I say a phrase that contained the word beef. I can't remember exactly what I said. So I just went, something with beef. And she went, what, you want beef? You want fucking beef? Ran up, I went, what? And she pushed me and I fell back into a puddle. And you know, just a sad slap in front of all my mates. Like, oh, my oh. God. And she's like over me, like, like standing. And I'm like, no, no, no. Like cowering from her. And it's like, oh my Fuck god, a blood red. Like, I'm in year nine this year. So this cool. This year seven moot has just <laughs> fucking volleyed me. <laughs> Moved up two weight classes and still 11. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
fuck it up. Shambles, lad. What time is it? No. Yeah. Wrap it up. Call it a pod. Yeah. Sweet. Well, that was Enjoy the that. Uh, yeah happened? the pilot. Yeah. Of Hot Waters Green Room podcast. So uh, to get exclusive access, go on uh, Hot Waters YouTube channel. Subscribe there. There's loads of different uh, tiers, and for each tier, you get different access for different things. Um, follow Hot Water on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Myself, James H Comedy on Twitter and Instagram. Tony. Tony Carroll 14 on, on Twitter and Instagram. And also as well, um, there will be a couple of episodes each week. So, yes, we're looking forward to it. We'll have our first guests on soon. And, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.